In this tutorial, I will be walking through the process of retargeting animation from a Deep Motion Animate 3D default character onto an Unreal Engine mannequin. The animations that I will be importing are generated from the Deep Motion Animate 3D web service. Animate 3D is an AI powered motion capture solution by Deep Motion that turns videos that you can find online or capture from a personal camera and turns them into a 3D animation, ready to download in a few minutes. It's free to sign up with free monthly recurring animation time and unlimited downloads. Okay, moving on to our Unreal Engine walkthrough. For step one, we're going to first generate our Animate 3D animation. If you have already done this, you can go ahead and skip to step six. So once we're logged into the Deep Motion portal, you're going to go to Animate 3D, and then click on Create Animation. We will be using the default character option here, since I will be showing you how to retarget the default Animate 3D animation directly in Unreal Engine. That said, Animate 3D does allow you to create custom avatars or even upload your own characters. You can check out our other tutorials if you're interested in those features. And next, we're going to find and upload our source video we're going to be using for our animation. Be sure that you follow the video capture guidelines below to generate your best animation possible. We have a demo video on our channel that walks you through the various guidelines for further support. Once you find or capture your own video, upload it and double check your output settings. The FBX animation file we need for Unreal Engine is already turned on by default. Feel free to explore the other settings here, like the physics filter, which will help prevent your character's mesh from intersecting if you're experiencing that issue. Now, once you're ready, go ahead and create your animation. The animation generation should only take a few minutes with default options selected. Great, after it's finished, you can go ahead and take a look at how your animation turned out in the previewer. You can pan around, zoom in, do whatever you want to take a closer look at it. Once you're ready, you can go ahead and download your animation. Again, we're using the FBX output. All right, now we're ready to go back to Unreal Engine. Once you're switched over, we're going to load the Unreal Engine 4 third person package. You can load this by selecting the third person template from the project browser. Once loaded, you will find the mannequins under content, mannequin, character, mesh. We're going to load the mannequin into the scene Let's go ahead and click on the mannequin we want. Once you see that it has loaded correctly, go ahead and create a folder to load our assets into. To do this, go to content, right click and click new folder. I'm going to go ahead and name it assets. Now we're ready to import our Animate 3D animation into the new asset folder. Select the female file without the T-pose you can just drag and drop it from your export folder directly into the assets folder. You should see an FBX import options window appear here. In this window, there are a couple of things that we'll want to change. First, make sure the skeletal mesh is selected. Then, if this is the first time you're importing this character, make sure that the skeleton is set to none. This will create a new skeletal asset for this model. The last item here is to make sure import animations is selected. From here, we are good to go, so go ahead and click import. After we import, we can now see that our character shows up as well as the animation. If you click on it, you should see your animation play. We are going to need to prepare both our imported character and our target character for retargeting. For step nine, we are going to set up our imported character first. Let's go ahead and double click on our imported character. In the top right, go to skeleton. We are going to need to set up the rig. Click on the Select Rig dropdown and choose Select Humanoid Rig, then click on Auto Map. Here you can see that our rig is not mapped correctly because our rig hierarchy is not the same as UE4s. Luckily, once we remap the joints, we will only need to do this once because we will be able to save it and use it later. So you can see this character as an example if you show the bone names, you can see that the root joint is actually at the origin of the character. Looking back at the character we imported, you can see that we don't actually have a root joint. So we will just map the root to none by clicking the X. Next, we're going to map the pelvis to the hips joint. Now we're going to need to do this one by one for each joint. It'll be easier if you show the bone names so you can easily figure out which bones go where or go down the list I'm showing here.
After this is all mapped, we are going to want to go to Show Advanced, where there are some hidden joints that we are going to need to map as well. So here we don't have twist joints on our imported rig, so go ahead and X those out. Going down the list, we're going to remove the other twist joints as well. We don't have a ball joint, foot root, or handgun. Great, so as I mentioned, we will be able to save this out and be able to use it again easily later. So go ahead and click save at the top and I'm going to name mine bone mapping underscore DM for deep motion underscore mannequin and go ahead and save it. All right, so next time if you need to do this mapping again, just click on load and you should see the file that we saved out. Now that we have our input character mapped correctly, let's take a look at our UE4 skeleton. Okay, here you can see it's in an A pose and in order for the retargeting to work, we will need to match our imported character to this pose. So let's go ahead and go back to our imported character. Here you can see it's in a T pose. So we're going to want to move the arms to match the UE4 skeleton. All right, so click on the shoulder joint or choose it from the hierarchy and go up to the details tab. We're going to rotate each shoulder by a negative 45 degrees and this might not match your target character exactly, so you can go back in and fine tune it for your character's needs. Just try to get them to be as close as possible so that the animations translate correctly. Okay, once you're finished aligning the arms, go to the retarget manager, go down to the bottom to manage retarget and base pose, and click on modified pose, and then use current pose, then save. Now that this default pose is fixed, let's go back to our UE4 mannequin. Now we're going to do the same thing for the UE4 mannequin. So let's set up the rig by going to the retarget manager and then to auto map. This time it's going to be much more straightforward since Unreal made this character and everything maps up correctly. And click save. Great, it looks like we are now ready for retargeting. Let's go ahead and create a new folder and call it retargeted animation. We can put all of our retargeted animations in this folder. Now let's click on our animation source that we imported before, different than our mannequin, go up to retarget anim assets and duplicate anim assets and retarget. Now if you click on the UE4 mannequin, you can see that the target is showing and the source is not. The reason here is because we need to set the preview mesh. So let's go ahead and do that by going back to our imported deep motion character, go to preview scene settings and click on apply to asset. Now, if we go back to retarget and asset, you'll see our preview is available. From here, let's go down to change the folder we want to save this in. Click change and go to our retargeted animation folder under assets. Click OK and then click retarget. Great, you can see that our animation has now appeared down here. If you double click on it, you can see that your animation has successfully retargeted to the new character. Awesome, and that's it for this tutorial. We are excited to be able to support Unreal Engine users and hope that Animate3D helps support your projects.